Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new YouTube video editor. Now this actually did just roll out, and I thought I would be one of the first guys to show you uh, what it actually looks like, how it works, and why you may want to use this over your editor uh, on your desktop. Now for a lot of people on YouTube, uh, and I'm not talking about the professionals or people who actually take this very seriously, uh, YouTube is kind of just like a an online social network basically what you do is you share your videos but why not make them look a little better without having to invest a lot of uh, money and finances into expensive software like final cut pro 10 when you can actually just use uh, the built-in software on your computer or better even um, by actually using youtube itself now what you can do is go to youtube.com slash editor and this is the page that is going to show up. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to load. And as you guys can see, once you're logged into your account, you're going to be able to see all the videos that you do have uploaded uh, onto your editor page. You will see, uh, well, basically, this is your clip bin, this is your viewer, and this is your timeline down here. Now, what's really cool is that you can actually drag these videos into the drag video section and have your YouTube videos that you've already created and uploaded onto your channel and actually edit them, trim them, uh, and do a lot more to create a whole new video file. You can auto fix them, you can add brightness and contrast settings, and you can change those settings and adjust them right here to the video itself. Now I'm going to basically play a little part of my video here so that you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. This is the original footage. If I uncheck auto fix, uh, or that was actually after checking auto fix, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the original footage that should start to play any second now. Um, so here is the original footage, and what you can actually do is hit auto fix, and it's actually going to auto fix and auto correct the colors uh, according to um, the actual main colors of your video so if they're a little off uh, then this will actually correct them now mine were basically spot on so there isn't really too much for it to correct you can also hit brightness and contrast over here and actually change uh, the contrast and brightness settings on your video so as you guys can see right now the contrast is at plus one what i can do is drag it all the way up here to plus 10 uh, and as you guys will see in a couple seconds, uh, the video is going to readjust uh, after applying the new settings. Uh, and it's basically like applying a filter. So as you can see, the contract is way the, all the way up. You can actually also flip your video. You can actually check if you want to uh, check this box over here and you can preview the original video as well as the settings that you've created to the video. It's actually going to show you two different videos uh, in a single frame. See, so the one on the left is actually the original. The one on the right is the one that I'm editing after using these new features from the YouTube video editor. Now it also do has, uh, or rather does have a couple other interesting features such as filters uh, and the ability to add text onto your videos. Now these are filters that most people would generally apply to photographs uh, using Google Plus because these are from a, a service called Picnic that Google did buy a little while ago. And these actually uh, could have been applied to images on there, but it's really cool that you can actually apply these onto your video. So for example, uh, if I click on a filter here and hit apply, it will apply. And as you guys can see here, it's already basically applied it to the footage. And now there is a lot of different possibilities that you guys can use this video editor for if you guys don't have enough money to invest in one or the one on your desktop such as Windows Movie Maker or iMovie just isn't cutting it for you. Now what you can also do is come over here to text and add other types of text overlays onto your video. There are a number of different fonts available uh, which actually do look really nice uh, and I would actually recommend using one like uh, Syncopate which I really do like or there was another one here I think it was called... Uh, where is it? Here, dancing script. This is really nice. Now you can also change the opacity, you can change the height, you can change the positioning, and it's all really cool. Finally, what you can do is come over here to audio and turn the audio on and off. Or if you would actually like to add other audio, you come back here to your timeline, hit the little audio button, and there are a bunch of different free-to-use uh, songs in your videos, and you can actually earn money off of this uh, music if you would so like. Uh, you can actually hit play on all of these songs and try them out. I'm actually going to do that uh, because this is all royalty-free music, so you can actually listen to the music and use it in your video and monetize the video. So as you guys can see, the, this music is fairly available. You also not only have music, but also do have stock footage available. This is all Creative Commons licensed video, and I do think that this is really, really nice that YouTube has included this, because things like the American flag here, or flowers in the park, or city at night, are very generic, and these clips are actually really nice, and I think a lot of people are going to have a good time using these, maybe for music videos or things like that. Finally, you can also add transitions, which is really nice, because I thought that this was one of the features that was left missing, uh, but ever since 
since I actually did look into this a little more, you also do have transitions, so you can actually upload different video clips and put them all into here. And the process of using this video editor is very simple. All you basically have to do is get the videos from your YouTube library. Now what you can do is actually come here and upload a video, like I'm uploading one over here. Uh, and if you would so like, you can set it as a private video, so you can have all of those videos in private without them showing up to your subscribers, edit it all into a proper, finished, complete video that you guys would like to publish, and then finally publish that video by hitting the publish button over here on the top right uh, to your public uh, to be able to view uh, your new masterpiece that you guys have created from your subscribers, your viewers, uh, and for people to give you feedback. Now, I really think that YouTube is doing a really great job by implementing something like this uh, into their service as a free service and not actually charging for it, because I know that the a lot of the content on YouTube actually isn't very high quality or professional content, and I do know that YouTube is trying to become uh, a better provider for entertainment and actually have people create better content. Now, they're trying to make this easier for you by supplying you guys with these tools and I think that they're doing a pretty great job myself. So anyway guys, that does about conclude this video. If you guys enjoyed it and would like to see more videos like these, please do remember to leave a thumbs up in the bottom left hand corner of this video uh, and like it by doing so uh, so that I do know that you guys enjoyed it. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials and much much more, please do remember to subscribe by hitting the little subscribe button right below this video. It's free, only takes a second and will keep you up to date with all my latest HD content. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.